Well, no, we're not nodding off. We're actually enjoying ourselves, Byron. It's very pleasant sitting with the lions. It's quiet. There's a bit of a breeze blowing and it's all quite wonderful. Now I've repositioned and come around to the other side of the tree where some of the lions were kind of stacked in and this lioness that you see lying right next to us is Amber Eyes herself. So that's her there. You can see she's got those big broad shoulders and she opened her eyes just now and looked at us and that's why I know it is Amber Eyes. So that's who that is. Now the other lionesses, I can only count another three. So I don't see a fifth lioness here at this stage. It's not to say that she isn't. In this long grass she could be lying somewhere close by and we can't see her but that's definitely only four lionesses, adult lionesses that I can see at the moment. There's one lioness at the back which is the one with the blind eye. So not that one, the one on the right here Craig. You might not be able to see her but she's just popped her head up on the right hand side. Maybe you can see her. There she is at the back. So there's the adult lioness with the blind right eye. And I wonder what happened to that eye. She definitely didn't used to have it like that. And you can see the biting flies are in full force. They're causing much discomfort to a lot of the lionesses and even the cubs. And she's going to go back to sleep. So that's her. And then we've got the two others lying on the left here. In fact, is there three? No, it's just the two others. There's the cubs are inside there. So there is one lioness missing. Now I wonder, and I, I know Amber Eyes was the female that was picking up that cub and moving it around, but it will be interesting to see if the youngest Inkahuma female is here, because I wonder if maybe on, it wasn't her cubs, and because it would have been a first time mom, maybe Amber Eyes was just interested and went and picked it up. It's difficult to say. I'm not sure if we actually saw her suckling or the little cubs suckling from Amber Eyes. So it would be interesting to know actually which one is which. There will, should be definite suckle marks from such a small cub like that. It's going to be needing milk. And so we should be seeing suckle marks on whichever female is the adult that is, well, that gave birth to her. So it would, it would make a lot of sense to me if it was the young female that gave birth just to the one cub. It often does happen when it's the first time litter for a lioness. She will just have the one or sometimes two. And then as she gets older and, and gets her gets used to this so she then starts to produce more it's the same in leopards you often find the first and the, well the first few and the last few litters tend to be small numbers of cubs so there is another vehicle joining us and we're going to just quickly try and direct them so that they can get into the right position to be able to see them because it's not that easy they're all kind of clumped up into a into a sort of treed area and it's very difficult to actually get a nice visual on any of them. We're lucky that we have a camera that zooms in very very far and that allows us to be able to see quite well. But they are definitely still very sleepy. There's really no sign of waking up just yet. They kind of popped their head up just now and then they all just fell back asleep quite quickly and you can see the cubs are flat 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 but they'll take their cues from the adult females. As soon as the adult females decide to start moving and if they wake up they pop their heads up then we'll see a situation where the rest will start following, particularly the cubs. You can see that one lioness is just watching. So, Aaron, you're wondering if I have any favorite memories of the Inkohumas. And, well, yes, I've got quite a few sort of very good memories of these guys. I've had sightings of them hunting buffalo a few times, in particular on Simambili Open near the dam. They often used to hunt the buffalo there, and there was one sighting in particular where they chased a buffalo across through the lodge and ended up having lions running through the lodge. It was quite something. Um, so that was a pretty incredible experience. And then once watched them also have an incredible standoff with hyenas. Now, when we were sort of we had, got up in the morning and there was the sounds of lions roaring and it was quite faint. It didn't sound as though there was they were that far away. And we followed up, followed up and we couldn't find anything and eventually we came across the Inkahuma Pride on a buffalo kill. And then the hyenas started to mount and this buffalo kill was far. It was all the way on the Elephant Plains Simomili cut line and the hyenas started to arrive and one by one hyenas came and eventually it got to the point where there was about 10 or 11 hyenas there and most of the pride at that stage then decided no they needed water and it was when it was dry and so the pride then moved all the way to Simobili which was probably about I would say a kilometer from where they had actually killed this buffalo so it was a long sort of stretch that they went for water and they left the one young male by himself this was a few months or a few years ago not a few years ago about a year ago and 
I was just the young Inkuma male by himself defending this buffalo carcass from these 10 or 11 hyenas. And there was then that the hyenas decided, no, it's time to now come in and try and chase these Inkumas. And they came in, and there was this big altercation that took place, and that then attracted more hyenas. And slowly but surely, the hyena numbers built up, and eventually it got to the point where we had almost, well, we had 28, I think it was, or 29 hyenas all together, and that poor Nkoma male got chased, and the noise of all of that then attracted the pride that came running back from the water, and we had absolute pandemonium as lionesses charged in, chased, and pushed away these hyenas, and this sort of noise then attracted another pride of lions, which was the Shimungwe pride, and they came in as well, and next thing, the hyenas just absolutely smashed everybody. They chased all the Nkohumas up into Marula trees, the Shimungwe's were up in Marula trees, and at one point, I think there was about nine lions in five different marula trees spread around this open area. It was quite something to watch. So that was one of the most insane things I've ever seen. And slowly, one by one, the, the inkumas then dropped down and moved away and left the buffalo for the hyenas. And the hyenas successfully stole the kill. So that was probably one of the most memorable sightings that I've had. It wasn't a positive one for the inkumas, but it most definitely was a very, very memorable one indeed. Now. Like I say, the Nkumas still sleeping. There are a few vehicles that might want to come in. So what we might do is leave them and come back a little bit later when it does start to get a bit cooler and darker. And while we do that, I believe Byron has got his binoculars out and is searching and searching high and low.